sir you are not audible uh sir please uh, sir you are not audible sir you are not audible sir please remove your headphone and after that you can maybe possibility it is audible sir Uh, sir, you are not audible. Uh, sir, please remove, uh, sir, headphones. Sir, please remove headphone from uh, your system, sir. Please. Sir, please unmute your ID option, sir. Please. No, sir, you are not audible, sir. Uh, sir, if possible, sir, please join uh, sir, from your mobile phone, sir, please. Uh, Dr. S. Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am, uh, if possible, uh, ma'am, please start the session, ma'am, please, because there is some technical issue from Dr. R. Srinivasan, sir. So I request, ma'am, please start the session, ma'am, please. Uh, good afternoon to one and all present here. I feel honored to welcome you all for taking part of this important webinar. This is the National Webinar of Finance and Economic Forest Society. Role of Financial Empowerment of Citizens in the collaboration with Association of Mutual Funds in India. AMFI provides useful knowledge and insights regarding mutual funds and investment. Now, I would like to invite Dr. S. Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, Assistant Professor of Corporate Secretaryship, to welcome our gatherings. Thank you, Divya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, one and all present in the meeting. Today, we have been gathered here for a national webinar on finance and economy for society, role of financial empowerment of citizens being organized by our own department of corporate secretaryship in collaboration with Association of Mutual Funds of India. At the outset, I extend my hearty welcome to our principal, Dr. Rajesh Sugumar, ma'am, an active principal, 
a source of inspiration for many of our young minds who always readily accepts any proposals for the well-being of our own students. I welcome our beloved head of the department, Dr. B. K. Somasundaram sir, associate professor and co-convener of this event. Sir's stay cool and positive is a success mantra of this department's any endure. Dr. R. Srinivasan sir, associate professor, co-convener, the man behind the program who always looks for collaborative initiative and activeness in all his work. I welcome you, sir. Special welcome is due to Mr. Surikant Sharma, sir, senior consultant, AMFI, former DTCM, Securities and Exchange Board of India, who is here to deliver special lecture for today's event. Sir has many laurels to his credit. I welcome you, sir. A special mention and welcome to all my faculty friends from my own department and other departments of Bharadasan Government mm -hmm. College for Women and all other colleagues in and around Puducherry. Then I welcome my own student friends from my corporate department on all other department to this webinar. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you, ma'am, for your welcoming other gatherings. Now I request our beloved principal to give the inaugural address. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let me first thank the teaching faculty of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship for organizing one such uh, webinar. And uh, I need a special uh, word of uh, thanks to Dr. V.K. Somasundaram, Associate Professor Head of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship and Dr. R. Srinivasan, Associate Professor, uh, who, uh, who are as uh, Dr. Vijayalakshmi says, uh, they really um, have a much keen in collaborative uh, initiatives. Uh, that's something nice about an institution. And the topic of the today's event, Finance and Economy for Society, Role of Financial Empowerment of Citizens, is something of contemporary uh, need. Because we people, we earn money. Making money is easy these days. But to invest it wisely and being a prudent investor it is something difficult. And many of them, they lose the hard-earned money because of this financial illiteracy. And yeah, the, to move more about uh, this, uh, today's uh, topic. And yeah, um, let me also, before going to the core of the thing, I would like to extend my heartfelt uh, uh, greetings and warm welcome. Uh, to the resource persons for the day. And on, on behalf of myself also, I extend my uh, appreciations to Mr. Surya Kam Sharma, Senior Consultant of uh, Association of Mutual Funds in India, who was previously the former DGM of uh, Security and Exchange Board of India. Welcome you, sir, on my behalf and uh, on my uh, institution. Over to the topic of today's thing. As we, we all know that the uh, uh, terms finance and economy are closely intertwined and they're in fact they're mutually dependent also and they're uh, very much essential for survival either one of them even that is going down then the other one cannot survive so they're mutually dependent uh, therefore a healthy finance and economy are essential for a prosperous society and uh, they also have uh, some negative uh, impact suppose uh, suppose, like, let us assume the finance and economy can also have a negative consequence with the respect to, for instance, if financial crisis can lead to economic recessions and the job losses. However, when properly managed, the finance and economy can be powerful force for good in the society. So we should also know the what are the uh, negative uh, impact of um, uh, economy and uh, um, finance. Uh, then we have certain ways to bridge these things. And the one thing we can talk about the financial inclusion, um, uh, like uh, I think uh, from what I saw, I think nearly 450 uh, had registered for this event, but uh, 160 have only joined. But I see that a diverse participation, like from corporate, commerce, science, students, faculty. So I, I really appreciate the keen interest you show in financial literacy. Because everybody may not know the nuances of um, finance and economy. This participant itself is a, a good. Uh, it's a good trend that everybody wants to know more about the financial literacy part of it. 
um yeah uh, now going to the financial inclusion i think most of you know uh, that it is the uh, availability and the equality of the opportunity to get access to the financial uh, services uh, needless to say a government of india nearly uh, two decades ago they started uh, 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 offer the access to the banking services and financial services to the even to the rural and uh, semi urban areas and we can see today gpay uh, uh, pay p they have so many ways of um, functioning the financial exchanges and also the uh, initiation of the government of india the digital india a uh, vision of the, which is the vision of the government uh, that is also a really good initiative the government takes um, uh, then we, we, while talking about the financial inclusion we have one more important thing that is the a uh, women inclusion that is a uh, financial inclusion really speaks about that there should not be any discrimination with respect to the geographical region whether north india south india east apply edulle and also equal access to all the genders male female transgender whoever we are and um, and consumer specific age we need not eliminate that only the adults should know about the financial literacy in fact from my opinion even the financial literacy should start from the age of 3 unless we uh, tell the child to identify the coins the rupee um, and uh, we introduce a child to a kundiyal the uh, what to say the saving box uh, the child will know the importance of money uh, uh, like that so there should not be any uh, even age uh, specific uh, discrimination with regard to national inclusion and also with regard to the caste and religious group they say uh, jains have got uh, got uh, this type of uh, Uh, approach towards money is not like that making money in a wise way is always uh, too good and then uh, we will need to have a special emphasis on the financial literacy if at all we see any uh, setback in the uh, financial setback then it is because people lack the financial literacy the financial literacy is the cause of many financial issues in the uh, present days uh, sometimes it also pains me even the teaching uh, faculty who earn in lakhs we do not know how to calculate income tax and so many other things so we need to be more prude and uh, uh, and we uh, you see the pay bills how much you uh, you invest in the savings and how much you spend like for instance <coughs> those who are new to the software to the it industry those who the generation those who first introduced to the it field the money they saw uh, they were so much uh, excited about the uh, monthly payment and we we saw that the investment was not really good that is suppose you earn uh, 50000 rupees per month and you are going to invest uh, nearly 70% of your earnings in buying an iphone it doesn't make sense a first month investment should be uh, really uh, that is which is getting appreciated buying an uh, iphone it is only getting depreciated so all those uh, i think whenever we give an appointment order it's always nice that we give some financial education to the uh, employees that's very much uh, important for any cadre of service cadre i feel personally feel that way uh, uh, then the one thing is as i told you earlier making money is very easy but that money should be made in a just manner why is in just manner I mean, in a honest way and the uh, investing the money is also equally important which we need to consult people um i think now going to the financial literacy uh, when compared to the other countries uh, it was uh, quite disturbing to know that the overall financial literacy in india is only 27% for a huge population like india and uh, in fact india has got more uh, number of youth population so the youth population they are the determinants of the future india and the future country so i think they should be uh, have you know exposure to financial literacy and what are the investment option and they should know how to analyze the risk involved in the financial investment we are told that uh, like the total amount of unclaimed amounts of this is one of the research thing they said that unclaimed amount of policy holders in public and private sector insurance companies was at 24586 crore at the end of december 2020 this is something really alarming the main reason is uh, the unclaimed money is uh, due to the lack of nominees and also non submission of full details when you uh, buy the policy so these things are something is a matter of concern for us 
and um, yeah uh, like as a parent as a teachers you should all uh, see that your uh, children and your students are financially literate it should be made as part of the curriculum uh, in fact this is what the national education policy 2020 envisages they say try, uh, it should be like a more like a earn while you learn uh, that is the mantra and they uh, they say that the curriculum should be more skill oriented so that they can invest with their skill and make money uh, so i think this is a very uh, important dimension of uh, future india uh, that's thing and then um, yes we have very good speakers so i need not give a big uh, inagra like inagra address for this and again my um, applause to the government of india who are made be the earlier government and this government who had uh, many national inclusive schemes we have the uh prime minister pradam mandra dan 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 yojana i'm sorry for my bad hindi and then um suganya samat yojana we have and the jeevan jyoti yojana we, we, it includes uh, includes the widows and uh, poor uh, uh, then the, um, uh, we have the uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes the marginalized all the components of the population of the uh, Indian population are covered under the various schemes, so that way we are uh, financially inclusive. Um, only the financial literacy should uh, spread across the uh, country's citizens. Um, then, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, like the uh, more importantly, of uh, uh, like in many of the states, the women's uh, the sex ratio. When you see the uh, sex ratio, for example, even in Pondicherry, women are. Uh, the uh, population is higher for every 1000 men we are 1002 female population so women empowerment will be uh, really a good thing and uh, obviously if you uh, see the youtubers or uh, you youtube bloggers we see more women coming to the forefront um, yeah but when we see their uh, supporting mechanism we always see a male member deciding on the financial investment other things during the interview i used to listen i only wish the uh, females are also given access to the uh, formal uh, banking system understand so in those days uh, our amas used to put all the coins in the uh, spices box and whenever a need arises that amount really came to uh, meeting out a big expenses uh, so that way i personally feel a uh, women empowerment women since they are all uh, basically homemakers they were trained to be uh, homemakers it is it's runs within their blood how to manage the finances so naturally if they are given more emphasis and more focus uh, focus nearly india can go well and it's not that because i am a female i'm vouching for that i personally observe from my own students and my uh, my own uh, uh, co workers and my uh, contemporaries um, yes and uh, lastly i am only suggest that you read a book rich dad and poor dad i do not know how many of you have heard of it it's a very uh, uh, interesting uh, book here yeah. uh, it's uh, actually to be very frank i and now i realize that my father was a poor dad because he used to get wild when i used to count the money that he used to give me hostel for uh, hostel fee and hostel fee and uh, college fee when i used to count the amount he used to get wild don't you used to ask me don't you trust me why do you count the amount that i give so that was the way we were brought up but now the trend has totally changed uh, i think now um, it's a different type of uh, a baton that we have to carry our uh, future generations and you need not be uh, uh, hesitant to make money but make money in a honest way and also invest them in a prudent thing let us hope for a very uh, Uh, what to say uh, 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 developed awesome. india that's more have this few lines i have given end to my speech thank you for the opportunity given and my best wishes to the department of corporate secretaryship for arranging one such event thank you thank you ma'am for your inaugural speech now my friend now i request my friend nandini of third year will say few words about resource person Good afternoon. So I'm grateful to welcome Mr. Suryakant Sharma, a commerce graduate with masters in law. His area of specialization is corporate law. He is a chartered associate of Indian Institute of Banking and Finance. 
and has over 36 years experience in banking securities market. He has served in SEBI for more than 16 years in different departments since 2003. Our resource person is a member of working groups for NCRT in developing occasional courses on mutual funds. Under his supervision, more than 1,500 financial literacy and investor awareness programs had been conducted by SEBI and gave lecture on investor awareness in 600 group programs. After his superannuation from SEBI, Sir is a senior consultant in spreading financial literacy investor awareness across the country. Now, I kindly request Mr. Surekan Sharma, sir, to commence the presentation. Thank you, Randini. Am I audible to all of you? Sir, I'm audible. Dr. Srinivasan. Okay, yes, good afternoon. good afternoon, sir. How are you? Fine, 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 sir. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you all. Okay, I'm listening. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, respected principal of the college. Honestly, I am honored that she has elaborately covered the concept of financial literacy and the importance of financial literacy in our country and for citizens. I salute her that she has very in-depth and clarity about the importance of financial literacy. That is why I think she will be a better place to take some good decisions in, in her college about the about the taking the path of financial literacy forward, not not only for faculty members, but also for, for her students. So thank you, ma'am, for uh, giving a very clarity on the subject. Uh, two, three things I want to tell uh, to all of you. This program is from Association of Mutual Funds in India, AMFI, but it is not a marketing event, Mr. Samar Sundaram, sir, or a promotional event of mutual fund. I want to make it clear here. This is purely an investor awareness program. And the purpose of such program is to just spread financial literacy and investor awareness among us, the citizens, including the budding citizens or, or stu blood students. And since this program is purely an investor awareness program, I will try to cover and try to take care of the expectation of Dr. Vijay Lakshmi and all faculty members, uh, uh, from, uh, which they might have about this from this program. And one more thing I want to request all the participants, please feel free to ask the questions once my session is over. You are, you are free to, uh, we will make the town hall open. You can ask, just raise your hand and ask the question. And even before that, if you have some question, please put your question in the chat box. I, I will request Dr. Vijay Lakshmi to take those questions once my session, once my session is over. Mm -hmm. Now coming to the topic, and I'm very happy that my friend, Mr. R. Srinivasan is also here today. Uh, again, I have seen, uh, seen him. That this financial literacy is very, very important in our life. And as, as Principal Mem has rightly pointed out, it has many facets. And I wouldn't do justice to cover all the facets of the financial literacy in, the, in a short span of around one hour. That is why I will limit myself to the, to the savings and investment and prosperity. Other aspects of financial fraud, banking frauds, then credit card, insurance, a lot of other things are also there, which also encompasses the basic concept of financial literacy, which I will cover Dr. Srinivasan in the next sessions when we have more time to go deeper into the subject. Okay. Today, Today, I will more focus on the savings and investment. And my dear friends, you as you all know, money is very, very important in our life. You might have heard many times that God is above, but money is here to, uh, we have to see, we, to, we see money, importance of money every day in our life. That is why I will request your student at the outset, Please do understand, appreciate, and accept that money is very, very, very important in our life. Because once you accept, then naturally you will go deeper into the subject and know the, why money is important. Why we should need money. What for we will be needing money. How we will be earning money. How we will be spending money. How we will be saving money. And how we will, we will be making money from our money. 
all these aspects of money you will be knowing only when you will accept the importance of money the first thing i want to request all of you particularly students please do accept the importance of money in our life now the next question arises from where money comes in our life from where it comes money we earn your faculty members your staff members those who are in in the service of the college are earning salary from their college you might not be earning today but you are going to earn very soon you might go you might go for some job you might be go, might be going for some business you might be going for some profession but you will start earning very soon down the line after 2 3 years max so money will be coming in your hands you will be having money in your life today you don't have money of course whatever money you have is coming from your parents they are taking care of your education they are taking care of your every needs they are taking care of your pocket money but after some time you will also start earning and money will also start coming in your pockets money will also start coming in your bank accounts then the then the importance of money you will realize but this is the high time that you should understand the why money we need and what we do with the money which we will be earning so we need money for all our needs right from basic needs to comfortable life to a luxurious life and for taking care of our normal wishes for all these things we will be needing and not only for that we will also needing money needing money for for taking care of our family for taking care of family obligations so we will be needing money and you will be earning money my today session is not about the earning of money very honestly speaking i wouldn't give you any clue how i would not give you any clue how to earn money but definitely i will give you clue how your money will make money for you these are two different aspects the first aspect you are you are accelerating yourself you are excelling today you are working hard you are getting degrees you are getting profession you are getting uh, professional qualifications what for so that all these things will make you equipped to earn money so you you will earn money and when you will money you might be knowing a majority of your earning will go into taking care of your regular expenses your ration your travel your elect, your uh, utility bills lot of other things you will be spending money on those aspects of your life but my dear friends we indians have a unique unique thing with us and that is what that whatever earn whatever money we earn we might earn 10000 rupees a month or we might earn 10 lakhs rupees a month but every indian and, and for that matter every indian family sincerely try to take away some money out of their regular income which they are earning through some job business or profession and that we sincerely try and that is in our habit every indian try to take away some money out of his regular income and the money which we don't spend out of regular income is is called savings so we all save you might be seeing your parents you might be seeing your elder sister and brothers and sister in laws they are working very hard not only to earn money but also to take away some money out of their regular income and why we save definitely you can ask me why we why should we should save we sh we will have to save for our future for our better future for for enjoying our life in future for taking care of our family obligations in future for all these things we will need huge money and that huge money might not come only from your salary that is why we are saving today so we are saving for future we are today we are saving for tomorrow because everybody wants that he he or her tomorrow should be should be a pleasant one should be prosperous should be enjoyable 
And for all these things, you will have to save. So the first thing I want to tell you, please start saving right from the first month when you start earning. In, in the initial years, you might not have good package, you might not have good salary, you might not have good profit on your business, you might even not have good uh, professional return if you are a professional. But whatever you are earning, you might be earning 10,000. You must start saving of a very small amount, maybe 100 rupees, maybe 200 rupees, maybe 500 rupees. But you should start saving right from the first month when you start earning. Because these saving or 100 rupees, 500 rupees or 1000 rupees from the beginning as are going to be lakhs of rupees down the line after 15, 20 years. That is why the importance of starting saving right from the first month when you start earning. So take this point from me. Please start saving when you start earning. Second thing about saving, make saving a habit. Every month you have to save. Every month. Come what may, situation will definitely keep changing. But you should be very clear that I will save the money. Come what may. Every month I will save. Of course, amount my vary according to the situation. But what I want to request you, you must start saving. Uh, not only from the first month, but continue to save every month. That you should develop a habit of saving every month. This is the second thing I want to request all of you. And third and last thing about saving, which I want to tell all of you. Just a minute. Just give you a minute. And third and most important thing I want to tell you about saving is keep increasing your saving with the increase in your income. Definitely your income will increase every year if you are in service. You will be getting increment. You will be getting increase in some allowances. Whatever it might be, your salary will keep increasing. So with the increase in income, you should also increase your savings. So again, I repeat three things. Start saving right from the first month. Make it a habit to save every month. And please keep increasing your saving every year with the increase in your income. These three things look very normal as small things. But my dear friends, these small things, three small things are going to change your life forever. Yeah, these small things. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Sorry, you are audible, sir. Actually, the light has gone here, so I am now connecting through my phone. Yeah, you are connected, sir. You are connected, sir. Thank you. So, the uh, so these three things are going to make your future comfortable. These three things will make your future livable. You will be enjoying your life if you do these three things in your life. Now, the second question arises, what to do with the savings which we will be making? What to do? Because we have to do something with the savings. Only saving is not the end. It is just the beginning. And my dear friends, I want to tell all of you, saving is the first step only. It's not the last step. It's the first step only and you have to take second step and that is you have to put your money somewhere in some product, financial or non-financial investment products. 
so one thing you should also remember that when you save you must not keep your saving at box in a currency at home no that's a blunder don't keep your saving in your bank ac savings account no that's a blunder because keep saving and keeping your saving at home is a, is a crime against yourself is a, is a crime against your family is a crime against our nation as a whole so please don't put it your saving at home please put your saving into some instrument might be no, might it might it be might it be financial instrument or it might be non financial asset assets or investment products so the process of putting your saving into some product my dear friends it is called investment it is called investment so saving is the first step investment is the second step the first step is important because without saving what you will invest that is why saving is very important but you must not at the same time stop at saving you may, must have to put your savings into some products you must have to invest your savings and what is the purpose of investment my dear friends the purpose of investment as uh, honorable principal rightly pointed out is very simple my money should also earn money for me the money which i have saved after many sacrifices after leaving many things after putting aside many of my desires should earn money for me that's the purpose of investment so your the purpose of investment will will make you prosper when you will earn money the path of prosperity will start so my dear friends investment is going to make you prosper please understand it not saving but saving is important what i am saying here is you must not you must save but you must invest you must you must save but you should go ahead and invest that saving that i want to emphasize here so you, you will also be not only saver but you will also be investor but unfortunately my dear friends most of the middle class salary class person though they save regularly even they invest some uh, in some of their products unfortunately they just remain money accumulators they don't become wealth creators i am using have here two terms one is money accumulation and other is wealth creation and for that uh, what is the difference between money accumulation and wealth creation i want to uh, just uh, take the name of a uh, professor vijay lakshmi if she permits me to give you one example what is the through which i want to explain what is the difference between money accumulation and wealth creation suppose vijay lakshmi ma'am has got 1 lakh rupees with her and she goes for a one year bank fd bank fixed deposit why i am taking the example of fd because even students are aware about the bank fd they might not have done fd with the bank but they have seen their parents their elders to meet fd regularly so bank fd is one of the instruments and vijay lakshmi ma'am makes an fd of 1 lakh rupees for one year when the bank agrees to give her interest at the rate of 6% this is the agreement between bank and vijay lakshmi ma'am that she will get 6% interest after one year when i meet dr dr vijay lakshmi and ask ma'am ma'am what happened to your fd what her answer will be i have earned 6000 rupees on my bank fd of 1 lakh rupees which i had done for one year and she is happy most of us like this only we always feel happy when we earn something without analyzing whether it the real return or not i will request all of you please deeply analyze whether this return is real or not but in this case i tell you the 6000 uh, interest earned by vijay lakshmi ma'am is not real return it is her notional return only why because of two factors 
one factor during one year when she had gone for bank fd of one year one more factor keep keep going with the fd that is called inflation inflation is also part of our life and what is inflation inflation simply means increase in the prices of goods item or services over a period of time so last year when she was going for bank fd had he not gone for bank fd and might have purchased some goods item or might have availed some services for 1 lakh rupees tell me sir would she be able to get same items after one year at 1 lakh rupees would she be i think your answer will be no she will not be able to get same items same goods same services after one year at 1 lakh rupees because of inflation prices of those items and services have increased suppose the inflation rate is 5% what does it mean it simply means that last year whatever she could have purchased from 1 lakh rupees after one year for the same items same goods and same services she will have to pay not 1 lakh rupees but 1 lakh 5000 rupees because of inflation now you see the proposition she was very happy when she uh, she earned 6000 rupees as interest income but in reality out of 6000 rupees 5000 has been eaten by the inflation please do understand this is very important what i want to tell you majority of your interest has been eaten by the inflation out of 5 6000 has been eaten by the inflation but still vijay lakshmi am is satisfied she is happy she say okay let it be let the 5000 be eaten by the inflation still i have got 1 1000 rupees with her, with me that's okay no ma'am there is another factor which you should have to keep in mind while analyzing the return on investment and that is taxability most of the return and profit on investment is taxable except a very few governmental schemes which we will discuss afterwards and for fd my dear friends you must know that for fd rules are very clear with regard to income tax whatever you earn as as income or as interest on fd will be treated your as your income and you will have to pay income tax as per your slab suppose suppose you are in 20% bracket then you will have to pay 20% income tax on 6000 as well and 6000 20% of 6000 becomes to uh, 1200 rupees so now you see the proposition vijay lakshmi ma'am ma'am was very happy when she earned 6000 rupees but honestly in reality out of 6000 5000 has been eaten by the inflation and 1200 rupees she has to pay as income tax tell me did she get anything in reality no rather she lost 200 rupees this is the treasury of most of the middle class salary class person that we don't get any real return on most of our investments reason is there what is the reason yes reason is there the reason is that <clears throat> we most of the middle class salary class person principal ma'am will also agree with me are very clear we have a typical mindset rather mind clarity i will say we don't want to take any risk i am very clear most of the middle class salary class person what they will say at least my generation of course the new generation have got newer thoughts and it is positive my generation was very no baba no we don't want to take any risk on investment we want to make our investment safe we want to invest in only in safe investment products this was our thinking that is why majority of the indians of my generation were investing only in lic policies and bank fds that's all only two products 
and bought the products unfortunately didn't give you any return in reality that is a hard fact you have to accept that we were wrong because our mindset was clear that no we don't want to take any risk but you have to accept new, new generation i want to invite them all of you you have to uh, understand my dear friends that in investment risk is there whether you accept it or not in most of the investment bearing some governmental small saving scheme risk is there and once risk is there you will appreciate that now light has come to let me try to come Recording, recording in progress. Okay. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Mr. Sabjar, Mr. Sabjar, please unmute me. Make me host. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, because of some uh, problem here, I, I couldn't connect properly. So, I think I, I'm audible now, Mr. Srinivasan. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Thank you. Thank, audible. thank you, sir. So nice you, presentation. Thank you. So, you see, so you see that most of the Indian uh, middle class, salary class person were not earning anything on their return. Re in reality, that is why we were we were not able to create wealth for us because my dear friends your wealth will be creating only when you will earn some real return on your investments and what is the formula of real return my dear friends students can note it down real return equal to notional return minus inflation minus tax liability if any in this scenario re uh, notional return was 6000 5,000 were eaten by the inflation, 12,000 were taken by the income tax department. You got nothing. Rather, Srinivasan, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You yes. lost 200 rupees. Mm. 5,000 plus 1,200 rupees. That, so that, that we should understand. We must earn some real return because only real return is going to create wealth for you. And for that, if if some risk is there, you can take some risk. And I am encouraging young people, particularly Srivastan, sir. Those ah. who are young, they should take risk because, because age is on their side. They have got still 30, 40 years to go. But that luxury, Srivastan, sir, I don't have. You might have a little, little bit less, <laughs> less than, than me. But because that is why I keep telling my days, young, young participants, you are very lucky you are young. Make best use of it. Take risk. But risk should not be blind. It has to be calculated. And how it can be calculated? Like Vijay Lakshmi ma'am? What, what is my risk appetite? My risk appetite depends on two, three factors. What is structure of my family? Whether it is a nucleus family or a joint family? I might have larger family obligations or I might have lesser income or I am old. Uh, I already crossed 50, 55. All these factors will limit your risk appetite. But those who are young, I feel personally, they should take risk. But risk has to be calculated and it has to be according to your risk appetite. 
and your risk appetite vijay lakshmi ma'am will depend on your income on your family structure and on your age so whenever you take any investment decision you must look at at your risk appetite second thing i want to sir are you asking something sir no sir no. Okay, okay second thing i want to tell you that you have to see that when we say vijay lakshmi ma'am we are saving for some purpose we have got bigger purposes in our life we have to got a house we have to purchase a car we have to travel across across globe with family we have to take care of our higher education of our children we have to take care of marriage of our children and last but not the least vijay lakshmi ma'am we have to take care of our retirement life and for all these bigger things we will be needing huge money crores of rupees even a middle class salary class person will need crores of rupees for these bigger things the, which we can term as milestones in our life and for all these milestone we will need money not 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 thousands of money crores of rupees from where that money will come and how we can better manage our uh, in saving and investment yes we can my dear friends and that is through making a financial plan of ours i will request all those who are already earning please make your financial plan it is very essential vijay lakshmi ma'am and making financial plan is not a rocket science it's not a complicated thing damn easy thing vijay lakshmi ma'am i will request you sit next sunday with your family take a paper on paper make three columns in the first column you just note down what are the major things to be done in your life discuss with your family normally what are the major things as you were saying sir if a person is not married the first major thing is marriage Mad for which money is required for which money is required yes. after that after that house birth, birth of the children celebration we will be needing money after that every family vijay lakshmi ma'am would think of having their own house maybe a flat maybe a house whatever it might be the every indian family would like even when they might have parental house they will think of have their own house yes, then sir. prior and, prior pricing our demands yes sir definitely then next thing comes it uh, srivasan sir is right car <laughs> car is no minimum thing every family wants car minimum thing now after some years vijay lakshmi ma'am one very big thing will be coming in our life gold that, that is higher education yeah. and professional education of children gold yeah. i will come afterwards sir okay okay, okay, okay. <laughs> i will come on gold as well but, but in the last in the last phase so higher education and professional education of children and vijay lakshmi ma'am you will appreciate every indian parent mother and father every indian family wants their children to take the best education professional education not only in india if possible go beyond the country also to get the best education but for that vijay lakshmi ma'am we will need huge money after their education is over marriage is the next step which you will take for your children and last thing is retirement plan retirement life that is also where we will needing huge money two aspects i want to emphasize here vijay lakshmi ma'am higher education and professional education of children acha vijay lakshmi ma'am tell me tell me one thing what is the cost of a good mba degree from a reputed institute today in india broadly all including all expenses 15 to 20 lakhs Mm, yes yes yeah, yeah, 15, yeah. 15 to 20 lakhs yes ma'am it is today but when the but when the children of the students who are still students will go for higher education after 25 years have you ever imagine what will be the cost of mba degree after 25 30 years that the lakhs ma'am that that degree which is coming in 20 lakhs will be will be Asking no. not less than two crore rupees, not less than two crore rupees per child after twenty five thirty years, and per chance they have two children, four crore only for the higher education and professional education of children. Now the retirement life, which I assume you will appreciate that most of the government don't have a pension now, 
so you will have to earn your pension or you will have to develop your retirement corpus for your retirement life and what should be the quantum way of retirement corpus which are actually ma'am i tell you an example suppose a person is of 30 years age and he or she says that he is managing his monthly expenses with 30000 today monthly expenses family expenses today at the age of 30 ma'am when when he becomes 30 out to 60 after 30 years can you imagine what money he will need for every month monthly expenses he is managing his affairs with 30000 today after 30 years for the same management same standard of living he will be needing not less than 2 lakh rupees per month because of because of, because of inflation so 2 lakhs multiply by 12 12 months 24 lakhs when he will retire in the first year of retirement he will be needing not less than 24 25 lakhs for normal life from where it will come that is why it is very important that he or she should start developing a retirement corpus and what should be the quantum of retirement corpus ma'am the thumb rule is there your retirement corpus should be not less than 20 times of your annual expenses at the time of retirement your retirement corpus srinivasan sir should not be less than 20 times of your annual expenses at the time of retirement and what should be the an, an annual expenses vijay lakshmi ma'am we have just discussed around 25 lakhs multiply it by 20 what it becomes 5 5 crore 5 crore rupees only for retirement life why because srinivasan sir when we got independence in 1947 you might remember yes. average average age of indian was only 47 years vijay lakshmi ma'am it has now risen to 71 years Mm. Yes, yes. What it conveys that mo- we will be we will be living minimum fifteen, twenty, twenty-five years even after retirement. From where money will come? We we'll have to develop a retirement corpus. That is why the importance of developing retirement corpus. And and if I give a clue to them, make the total of the last column. You will be surprised, Vijay Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am and Srinivasan Sir. A normal middle class, salary class person who is around 30 today mm. will need not less than 10 to 12 crore rupees only for his or her milestone. I have excluded uh, the the, the um, uh, monthly or regular expenses from 30 year to 60 year that I have excluded, sir. Only for your milestone, they will be needing 10 to 12 crore rupees. From where that will come? Yes, it will be. Yes, it can be, my dear friends. Provided, I again emphasize here, Silvasan sir. Provided they start working on saving right from the first month when they start earning. Provided they make habit as a habit. Provided they keep increasing your saving with the increase in your income. And provided they keep investing their savings into the best investment products, earning real return on their investment. That is why it will be possible. So please do understand, and the chart which we have just prepared, Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, it is called financial plan. Yeah. And I will request all those who are already earning, and even student to understand, every individual must have his or her financial plan. I draw a family plan also, family financial plan, because that financial plan will give you directional approach, Sri Nivasan Sir. Once you draw the financial plan, now the goals are goals are clear. clear the, yes, yes. the the figures are clear. How much money you will need for what purpose and at what time? That that clarity will be given by the financial plan. That is why the importance of financial plan. And I again request all of you, please develop your financial plan. And and even I add one more thing, Sri Vasan Sir. Just jokingly. Frame it. Frame the financial plan and put it in your drawing room. Mm. Every morning when you woke up, go to the financial plan, uh, give them namaskar and say, "Okay, sir, I'm I, I, I'm seeing I'm you. <laughs> Today I will devote myself for this financial. Plan. Every day you should be devoted to the financial plan. That is why that will be a culmination of your achievement of your goals. 
So please do develop your financial plan. That is very, very important. And one more thing I want to uh, tell you about investment is power of compounding. Srinivasan, sir, power yes. of compounding is eighth wonder of the world. Rule, yes. rule 72. Yeah, absolutely, ma'am. It's eighth wonder of the world. And what is power of compounding in investment, Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am? Simply put it in that way. You have to make a promise with yourself, not to others. You will have to make a promise with yourself that whenever and whatever return I will get on my investment, definitely when you will save and invest, you will be getting return, Srivasan, sir. Not today. After some time, after some years, definitely you will start earning return on it. So you have to make promise with yourself that whenever and whatever return I will get on my investment, may it be 50,000, may it be 5 lakhs, may it be 10, 10 lakhs or more, I will never, never consume that return for my personal needs. I will never utilize that return for my personal need. Rather, what I will do, I will keep reinvesting my return. Whenever I get return, I will re religiously reinvest it for another term, for another term, for another term. And if you do it, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, it's not easy. You will appreciate saying yes is very easy, but executing yes in life is very difficult. How is it difficult? Suppose Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, you get 5 lakhs return on your sum of your investment after 10 years. Whole family will be behind you. Oh, now you have earned 5 lakhs rupees. We will be going to Switzerland only. This we will enjoy this money. But no, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, at that time you should be very clear and very emphatic. No, this 5 lakh will not be spent on Switzerland trip. We will manage Switzerland trip from other, uh, 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 other efforts. But this 5 lakh will be reinvested. If you, if you develop this commitment, I again tell you, it's not as easy, but you can develop it. Only thing is commitment. Only thing is promise to yourself. Only thing is a discipline which you can develop. And if you do it, I can tell you, down the line after 15, 20 years, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, your return portion will become much, much bigger than your original investment. But that will be happening, Srivasan, sir, not in one year, not in two years, not in five years. Long term. It will take minimum 15 to 20 years. Minimum 20 years. Or rather more than that. That is why the importance of power of compounding in investment. So please religiously follow, follow the concept of power of compounding in your investment decision. All these things, I what, why I should have taken so much of time, Simarsan, sir? Because I thought these are the basics which your students must understand yes, yes. To, to, to become a successful investor. Yes. To, to really create some wealth in their life and to enjoy and lead a prosperous life. Now, next five, next 10, 15 minutes hardly, we will discuss where to invest. Because it is equally important we should know what are the pro, um, products available in the market, which I'll assume, ma'am, where we can invest. The first category of uh, investment products available in the market is governmental small saving schemes. Government of okay. India has developed some very good small saving scheme, particularly for middle class, salary class person, and for those who don't want to take high risk. Because the beauty of governmental schemes, Srivasan sir, is that there is no risk at all. Yes. Whatever government promises you, they will give you. When the scheme matures, whatever the maturity, maturity amount, you will get it. That is just, that is for sure, because it is a sovereign guarantee. So, Governmental small saving scheme, the first and I feel the good, very good scheme, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, is Public Provident yeah, Fund Account, PPF. PPF. Very good scheme of the government of India. If principal ma'am is there, I think uh, she will appreciate if, if she has opened a PPF account earlier. Because PPF is one of the best schemes of the government of India. Yes. And the beauty of this scheme, Srinivasan sir, it is exempt from tax, tax-free. 
exempt, exempt, exempt. No tax at all at any level. And this is the rarity nowadays. Because most of the even governmental scheme uh, entails some taxes. But, sir, but in a new tax regime, I think uh, no savings uh, will be exempted, isn't it? No, so, so that exemption is a different one. But on PPF interest, you will not be paying tax. Because what you are saying is, is the pre-stage. Because now deduction is allowed up to the level of 1.50 lakhs. Mm -hmm. That deduction will go. But still PPF interest will be tax exempt. You will not you will not be required to pay any tax on that. Oh. So, my dear young participants, I want to tell you, please do open a PPF account. It is a very good scheme. The scheme is of 15 years, but it can be extended even after 15 years for a period of five years, five years, and five years. And Srivasan, sir, oh. I want to advise particularly young, young, young fellows. Keep continuing extending the scheme minimum for three terms, between 15 years. So first 15 years, you should continue. Then next 15 years, you should continue in the phases of five years, five years, and five years. And I give you an example, sir. How power of compounding works and how is the beneficial. Sir, sir uh, Srinivasan, sir, suppose a person age is 30 today and he opens a PPF account. Okay. And every year he is in he is depositing 1.50 lakhs in the PPF account. Every every year because that is the maximum limit. That's the maximum limit. Yeah. And the present rate of interest on PPF is 7.10 percent. After 15 years, sir, the person will have a PPF accumulation of 41.50 lakhs. After 15 years, including his contribution plus interest earned and interest on interest earned. But he must not stop here. He should extend the scheme for another five years, another five years, another five years till he becomes 60. But sir, when he becomes 60, can you imagine what PPF corpus will he will have? 1.52 crore. Oh. First 15 years, 41 lakhs. Next 15 years, 1.51 crore. How? Power of compounding. Because interest on interest keep accumulating. Interest on interest keep increasing plus your contribution. So I will request all of you, those who don't have opened PPF account and those who are at least below 30, 35 or even 40, should immediately open a PPF account. It can be op opened with any of the bank, major banks and post offices and continue, continue contributing minimum 1.50 lakhs every year without fail. And to, and to get best beneficial benefit out of it, Srinivasan, sir, I will request them deposit 1.5 lakhs rupees at the beginning of the financial year itself. That is before 5th of April. Because financial year starts from April to March. Why? Because if you deposit 1.50 lakhs at the beginning of the year before 5th of April, sir, you will get you will get interest for the whole year. Oh. And that interest will keep multiplying. So there might be a difference of thousands of rupees. If you if you keep depositing every year religiously. 1.50 lakhs in the PPF account at the beginning of the financial year itself. And if it is not possible, Srivasan, sir, then whenever you deposit money in the PPF account, please make sure that you deposit in the first fifth days of the month. Because suppose you deposit on the sixth or seventh day of the month, you will be losing interest for that month. Because PPF rules are very clear, interest will be given only on the balance edge on 5th. These are very small things, but will make a difference of thousands and thousands of rupees down the line after 15-20 years. So the second scheme of the government of India, I don't have time, so I will just mention the name. Those who are interested can, can note down the names and they can get Google and get the details. Second scheme is, sir, National Savings Certificate, NSC. Third scheme is Kisan Vikas Patra, KVP, Kisan Vikas Patra. And fourth one is 
आरबीआई बॉन्ड्स रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया श्रीनिवासन सर आल्सो कीप इशूइंग बॉन्ड्स टैक्सेबल बॉन्ड एंड टैक्स फ्री बॉन्ड्स इवन टूडे दर आरबीआई टैक्सेबल बॉन्ड रिटर्न इज सेवन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन परसेंट देन देन यू कैन देन आफ्टर आरबीआई बॉन्ड्स देन यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज गवर्नमेंट आल्सो कीप रेजिंग लोन फ्रॉम अस श्रीवासन सर यू माइट बी रिमेम्बरिंग earlier it was not easy for us to to invest in government securities but last year rbi has started a website please note down the name of the website rbi retail direct rbi retail direct go to the website register yourself and then start investing a small small amount in government securities even the the return is around 7.8 to 8% today then beyond that beyond that government of india big institutions railways ntpc ongc indian oil hundreds of them around 150 or 200 such big organizations they also keep raising loan from the public by issuing debenture and bonds which you can also subscribe all the and in, then government of then banks uh, deposit schemes and post office deposit schemes all these are under under the category of governmental small saving scheme my dear friends and the beauty of these schemes srivasan sir knows it very well there is no risk at all no risk at all no risk Re returns are reasonable no extraordinary return but without any risk and i feel personally a middle class salary class person should invest minimum 20 25% of each his or her total investment in governmental schemes because that will give you 100% security plus reasonable return beyond that other products are available and uh, one more scheme i want to tell you sir srivasan sir and that is very good scheme that yes, is for the, for the girl child only those who have girls at home and the age of the girl is below 10 two conditions are there because this scheme is specifically for the girl only girls only if you have a girl at in your family whose age is below 10 then the best scheme available the government of india for girls are sukanya samriddhi yojana sukanya samriddhi yojana very good scheme dr vijay lakshmi for girl in tamil we in tamil we call it uh, selvamagal yes sir yeah, yeah ma'am um, name might be different name yeah, might yeah, be different yeah. but the contours are the same conditions are same so in this scheme basically this scheme has been devised for the girls only for the education of the girl and for marriage of the girls marriage expenses of the girl and uh, this is a very good scheme and the government has assured vijay lakshmi ma'am that in this scheme government will always give you best return highest return in governmental scheme today it, it, the rate of in, uh, return is 8% 8% interest is given on the on the deposit you make and tax exemption is also allowed so beyond that what i was talking there are some other products available in the market where you can invest the other product uh, is the next product is property and real estate srinivasan sir where you can invest people do invest in property in real estate but you will appreciate that in, in for investment in property in real estate vijay lakshmi ma'am you will need huge amount maybe crores nowadays in in metro cities even a flat of two bedroom flat will not uh, come uh, will not be, you will be able to get less than 1 crore rupees or even more so property option is with you You, if you want to invest, I leave it to you. I am not not an expert on property, so I will end here as far as property is concerned. I leave it to you to decide. After that, Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am, if you open your video for two minutes, that will be nice of you, if possible. Yes. Because now I am talking about you only, and not only you, <laughs> all, all female, all female participants, and that is gold. and our indian females are fashion, passionate about gold you may not be an exception most of, because we, in, in our family also we can see that gold has historically been 
a passion for the female uh, female members of the family and it is not today uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am for centuries together it is there and we have treated gold as a security wall not any investment as a might be in status or a security wall more gold you have more secure you feel are baba i have good gold in case of emergency we we, we might sell the gold and get come out of that emergency or some problem that is why gold has been treated as a uh, security wall and we have been purchasing gold uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am mostly through jewelry only mostly through jewelry but it is a losing proposition Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming to that. Yeah, <laughs> very right. Thank you, thank you. It is a losing proposition. Why? Why losing proposition? Because when you, if you wish to sell the gold after ten, fifteen years, Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am, Jerry will tell you, ma'am, there will be a cut of thirty, forty, even forty percent of making charges, or maybe five to ten percent of pure charge. Little, you will get half of the amount of the of the gold. that is why government of india has come out with a unique scheme that name of the scheme is sovereign gold bond scheme sovereign gold and i am very happy that vijay lakshmi ma'am is aware of that bond scheme very good scheme of the government of india very good scheme now government want to discourage normal middle class salary class person to invest in gold in physical form because if you have gold and keep it at home vijay lakshmi ma'am you you might not have sound sleep or baba thief might come and all these things happen or if you have gold and and put your gold in the atm or in, in the in, in box lockers lockers then you will have to pay annual charges for those those lockers so that is why government of india has come out with a very good scheme for us that is called sovereign gold bond scheme in this gold bond scheme government of india will not give you physical gold vijay lakshmi ma'am but they will give you a certificate that this much of gold is with us of yours whatever you invest in this scheme government of india will give you a sovereign certificate that this much of gold is available is, uh, we are keeping uh, with us on your behalf and government of india has given two benefit in this scheme the first benefit which i lakshmi ma'am is 2.5 2.5% annual interest annual interest Capital. suppose Capital. you Capital. Pay, Capital. yeah Capital. suppose Capital. suppose you have invested 1 lakh rupees then every year because the tenure of the scheme is 8 years renewal sir so every year you will get a credit of 2500 rupees as interest in your bank account on this sovereign gold bond of 1 lakh rupees but the second benefit is bigger vijay lakshmi ma'am that is suppose today the gold price is 60000 10 gram suppose and you invest at the rate of 60000 10 gram after eight year suppose the gold price goes to 80000 gold price is increasing uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am for last 25 30 years there has been no let up in gold prices every year gold price is increasing So suppose the gold price goes to eighty thousand ten gram after eight years, you will be getting return a return of your money at the rate of eighty thousand rupees ten gram. So two benefits are there: first, fixed interest of two point five percent, and second, bigger interest is appreciation of gold price will also be given to you, whatever it might be. Suppose it goes to ninety thousand. Suppose it's going to one lakh rupees. whatever it might be so whatever appreciation is there that will also be given to you in addition to that 2.5% annual interest and third benefit vijay lakshmi ma'am tax liability will also be very minimum very minimum because of indexation benefits because indexation benefit will be applicable here so the tax liability tax simply means your earning your interest plus your appreciation price will be very minimum so i i i, I keep requesting all of you please go into the details of this sovereign gold bond scheme and students when they go home today or if they are at home today discuss with your mom with your sister with your sister in law about this scheme get the details from google explain them 
because it is a very good scheme of good scheme. Lastly, where we can invest with Lakshmi Ma'am is share market or securities market. But Srinivasan sir has told me before before the session I started my session. Don't tell us some sir something about the share market. It is share speculation. How market goes up, how market goes down, we don't understand. Normal people, I am telling you, we don't understand. And most of the people who don't understand share market still invest in share market on the pretext of some messages, some tips, some confidential uh, whispering that this share will go up, that share will go up. They invest and they sometimes lose the money. That is why I have been in SEBI for almost 20 years. But I keep telling in my session, don't invest in securities market unless and until you have knowledge. If you have knowledge, then invest directly. And directly, there can be two ways, Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am. One is through IPO. And second one is purchase of share from exchanges, NSC, BSC, this section. You can go and purchase any share by, uh, by following a set procedure. But there is an indirect way of investing, Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, that is called mutual funds. Mutual fund is an indirect way of investing. You are not directly investing. Please mind it. You are not directly investing. You are giving your money to the experts. Naturally, you will ask me why we should give our money. Kausar uh, Ansari Ma'am will ask me why, why we should give our money to uh, experts. Ma'am, because of three reasons. The first reason is we don't have knowledge. But they people are experts. They are experts of this of investment management. They are experts of the economy. They are experts of the sector. So they are better placed to take a good decision as compared to us. Second thing, we don't have time. Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, you have full-time job, then have, have family to look after. You hardly have any time. They people are in this line for 24 hours. They work for this. That is why they have plenty of plenty of time to manage your investments. And, and thirdly, you don't have any experience of investment, but their people have plenty of experience, maybe 15, 20 years. Because of these reasons, we are giving our money to the experts. They are technically called Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am fund managers. And mutual fund is strongly regulated by SEBI. It is not a Ponzi scheme. It is not a chit fund. It, 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 don't, it is not a kitty, like that thing. It is purely an investment product, duly regulated by SEBI. Mind it. Of course, there is no guarantee. If anybody gives you guarantee in any scheme, he is not telling you the truth. No guarantee. Because it will ultimately depend on, upon the movement of the market. And market always go up and down, Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am. And this is the basic character of the market. Market will always go up and down. Today market might be down, tomorrow again it might go up. Again down, again go up. But steady and slowly, long run it will go up. Because if you remember Srinivasan sir, BSC Sensex started in 1970 when at 100, 100 point only. Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, it is almost 65,000 today. So, in a long run from 1972 to 23, that is, that is literally 63 years. Uh, sorry, 53 years. 53, sir. 53. 53 years. Market has gone from 100 to 65,000. So, long run, there is a bright possibility that market go up. But in between, market will always be topsy-turvy. Will always go up and down. So, so mutual fund has got a lot of schemes. For every person, those who can take high risk, Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, equity funds are there. In equity funds, your money will be invested into the equity share of the corporate where risk is very high. But so is the reward. Because you, you, you might know, knowing the proposition, more risk, more reward. But there is no guarantee of high reward if you take high risk. But probability of getting high return increases. The only, the only difference is your probability of getting higher return increases when you take high risk. So, equity fund is for young people. Equity for, for those persons who can invest minimum for 5 to 10 years. 
and equity fund is suitable for person who take who can take high risk second category in mutual fund is hybrid funds in hybrid fund srinivasan sir some of your money will go to the equity fund and some of, of your money will be given as a loan to the corporates and that is called hybrid funds both both category of uh, equity and debt funds are there in hybrid funds risk is relatively lower because some of your money is going to a fixed deposit uh, just like a, on fixed interest rate whereas some of your money is invested on the volatile market so you are managing both the worlds you are trying to manage both the worlds of high return and reasonable return high risk and lower risk so you are averaging out return as well as, well as your risk and the third category is debt fund in debt fund your money will be given as a loan to the corporates mutual fund is a very big subject sir vasan sir it will take minimum 2 hour to explain all basic all these things next time if you are interested we will have a dedicated session on mutual fund okay sir on offline ha ah. thank you sir ha ah, ah, yes yeah, sir i am i will be more than happy to come to you okay sir okay sir definitely sir so <clears throat> so you see mutual fund the best way of investing in mutual fund srinivasan sir is mm -hmm. through sip systematic investment plan and investment S scheme ah, yes sir and sip is nothing sir vijay lakshmi ah. it is just a recurring account you are opening you might have opened a recurring account in bank and post office every month you are depositing some money the same principle uh, applies here you are investing regularly every month and sip can be weekly even vijay lakshmi ma'am sip can be fortnightly sip can be even uh, quarterly or half yearly whatever whatever tenure you want you can have but mostly since we are salary class people srinivasan sir monthly sip is the best option available for all of us yes, yes. and sip if you continue for longer period magic will happen in your life mm -hmm. and i want to give an example name of the name of dr p shankaran because i can see he is a very senior person sir uh, if you permit i want to take, give an example taking your name sir ah. will you permit me sir thank you thank you sir of course uh, he might repent afterwards that are sir i i i wrongly gave my name to you <laughs> no problem just joking sir sir in 1997 srinivasan sir ah a mutual fund company which is technically called amc started an equity fund oh. and dr shankaran was very young at that time still is very young but he was very young at that time in 19 he started an sip of 10000 rupees per month means simply means vijay lakshmi ma'am he is investing 10000 rupees every month in that equity scheme Mm -hmm. right from 1997 and shankaran okay. sir 2023 has come but mm -hmm. he is religiously investing 10000 rupees every month without fail and he is a rarity Norm normally what happens shankaran sir when market goes up people start investing they feel happy okay i am earning money but suddenly market goes down they get a scary they stop sip or they withdraw their money even but that mistake mr shankaran did not do and he is a genius honestly speaking no rarely it happens but he is so particular he didn't miss a single sip right from 1997 to 2023 mm. every month he is investing 10000 rupees in and this is a fact vijay lakshmi ma'am i am not telling you a story it is a fact i don't want to disclose the name of the scheme or the mutual fund that will be unfair marketing of that scheme but it is a fact what i am telling you would you like to know vijay lakshmi ma'am how much corpus he developed by no i think you will be it is natural for you to know how much corpus mr shankaran has developed in this sip are you interested vijay lakshmi ma'am maybe more than 20, uh, more than 2 lakhs sorry 2 crores uh, 2 crores yes, yes. Uh, more than 2 crores Ma'am, twelve point five eight crore. Oh, for out of for twenty six years. Uh, Professor Shankaran will never tell you. 
That is secret investments. <laughs> it is a fact. I am not telling you a story. It is a fact. Mm. In 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 confidence, I can give you the name of the scheme and uh, AMC also. So what I want to tell here, Shankaran sir, through this example, what I want to tell them here, be a consistent investor for longer period. That is a must. Don't look at the market movement. Market will always go up and down. Forget about the market because you are a long term investor. You are investing for a longer period. You are investing for some bigger purpose happening after twenty twenty five years. If that is the goal, if you are investing for minimum ten years, fifteen years, magic will happen. And I one more thing I want to tell you. I I don't know whether Shankaran sir will agree with me or not. It's not a joke, sir, but it is my personal uh, opinion, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. Next twenty-five years are going to be golden period for Indian economy. This is my opinion. You may or may not agree with me, but only those who will benefit who will be investing. Otherwise, otherwise there may be crores of people who will simply start clapping. Oh, my country is going up. My economy is going up. This thing, that thing, GDP is going up. We are at number three. We are at number nothing. What I will get out of it? That is equally important. You will get it only when you is investing. That is why I I keep telling in my sessions, please be an investor. Start investing at the early age and continue to invest for longer period. And if you are investor, you will reap the benefit of the expanded economy. If our if our India goes up, if our economy goes up, we are at that within the first three. We will get benefit, Shankaran sir, sir, only when we are also investors. Otherwise, otherwise, notionally it is okay. My country will go up and all. I will not be beneficiary of that. But I want you to be beneficiary of that growth. That is why I keep telling: please keep investing your savings regularly and keep increasing it. Last two things I want to tell all of you: in Pondicherry also there may there may be some problems, but in across other countries, other states there are very serious problem. Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, that is Ponzi scheme, cheat fund and committees. People do come. They they will promise you doubling your money in four years. They will promise you giving you fifteen percent return, eighteen percent return, twenty percent return. This or that incentive, they are all fraud. I am using very harsh word for them, because you being the professor of economics and commerce, you must be knowing it. It is not possible at all. Generating so much of high level of return is not possible at all in reality. That is why I keep telling. most of the uh, uh, to all of you never 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 invest your hard money in ponzi scheme cheat and cheat fund and committees by by <clears throat> and vijay lakshmi ma'am most of the people do invest in such schemes why because of greed sankaran sir everybody wants to make money faster oh i i should get return in Uh, in, in, in very good return in very very short period it is not possible it is not possible my dear friends so i keep telling all of you please understand you can get good benefit but with the passage of time only give time to your investment to grow when we put a seed in the soil uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am it takes months together some time to be a, be a plant or some time in even years the same goes with the investment also you have to give time to your be patient but in the in that in that period be alert be aware don't be uh, once invested and forget no that i am not saying always be alert every half year every half year keep analyzing your returns whether your uh, return has been reasonable what were the reasons whether you should shift your return from all these things so these things are very necessary for exploring and last thing i want to tell all of you my dear friends i think i and i want the blessings of shankaran sir for this sentence which i am in telling you all of you vijay lakshmi ma'am prosperity is your right and my prosperity definition doesn't mean to be a mukesh amani 
minded. My my definition is very simple, Shankaran sir, that my basic needs are met. My I have I lead a comfortable life, and I should have reasonable money to take care of my family obligation. That is my prosperity. So I have got right to be prosperous, Shankaran sir. Every individual, for that matter, we all Vijay Lakshmi ma'am have right to be right to be prosperous. And prosperity is not a luck. Mind it, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. Prosperity is not a luck. It is an effort. We have to make effort for our prosperity. Forget about the luck. We are we are uh, we Indians have a fallacy of depending on luck too much. That is not a right thing. In prosperity, Shankaran sir, is an over effort. We have to make effort. We have to make continuous effort. And there may be some participant, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am, who might say that they are not from good family. They are not from the rich family. My answer to them is very simple, Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. Birth in a poor family is not a curse at all. Forget about this. Birth in a poor family is not a curse at all. But living as poor and dying as poor is a curse. And we all can avoid that curse, Shankaran sir, by managing our money right from the day we start earning. And my best wishes are all for, with all your students, your bright students, that they will be prosper, they will be enjoying their life, they will be having good money in their life. With those words, I end my session. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your thank you so much, sir, for your thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That was a great deliberation. And the principal speaking. Oh, member, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted you to give your opinion. Thank you much. Yeah. Yes, sir. It was great. Really great. Thank you, ma'am. So nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, Thank you so much, sir, for a vibrant and wonderful presentation on this topic. We have gained so many knowledge, so much knowledge regarding savings and investment. First step is to save. Save every month. Save continuously. Difference between saving and investment. We came to know regarding you only, sir. Thank you for that. Do not keep money idle. It must be an investor in the investment to fetch some returns in terms of like money accumulation and wealth creation. And we came to know about how to plan for the retirement in the first month of money and to invest in the best possible way to get maximum return with the minimum risk. Thank you so much for giving us this knowledge. And you gave us the, some special schemes like PPF, NSC, uh, RBI bonds, investment in loans of um, Navaratran, etc. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving this information oh, to us. No, I, I welcome question from participants. If you have got, got any question, please, please feel free to ask the questions. Anybody who has got some question, just raise their hand. We will make them unmute. They can uh, directly ask the question. Sir, sir I'm there is one that. question from Dr. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, 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 highlight on which uh, mutual uh, fund scheme to invest sir, for regular for return long term return mutual fund scheme ma'am ma'am i want to tell you that this answer is not simple very honestly speaking because oh, it yes, yes. because it depends on lot of factors what is his age firstly how much he can invest secondly thirdly for which period he want to invest so, if he if he is young if he is young if or he or she is young then equity fund is the best option for them. We you start work. investing in mutual fund, in, 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 equity mutual fund, but minimum duration should be 10 years. Mind it. But that I will not tell to the Professor Sankaran. For him, <laughs> the, for him the, the scheme is different. For, for you, sir, hybrid funds are there, dead funds are there. Basically, equity fund is meant for young people. Those who can who can have uh, uh, high risk, those who don't enjoy the high risk appetite, then different mutual fund schemes are there. Yes. Any other question? No. Don't put uh, all eggs in one basket. Absolutely, sir. It, it is called diversification. Diversification. It is called diversification. Basically, it is just to balance your risk. 
So what is the percentage of uh, sir? What is the percentage of investment can be made in the capital market instruments? Sir, it again depends on you. If you have, if you get high risk appetite, you can make hundred uh, percent investment. But if you are a conservative investor, then Vijay Lakshmi Ma'am, I feel thirty forty percent should be in governmental scheme. Minimum ten to twenty percent should be in stock market or in capital market. Maximum, maximum. But if if you if your risk appetite is okay, then you can invest invest even up to eighty. So it depends on lot of factors. There cannot be general answer to these questions. Okay. Yes. Any other? Ah, uh, Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am. Anything you want? You wanted? Any other question? Participants, please. You can post your question, or you can unmute your mic and ask the questions. Any other questions? One question has come. Just so. Yes. No, no, my dear. There is basically there is a difference in ETF and mutual funds. Extend traded funds are traded on exchanges. These are funds only. But in mutual funds, schemes are run by the mutual fund managers. The theory and the basics of all these both the things are same. But extended traded funds have got least cost. The expense ratio is very, 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 very low as compared to dynamic and active mutual funds. Yes. Any other question? What, okay. what is the benefits of mutual fund? Sugan has posted. Sugan M has posted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sugan. What is the benefit? Sugan, the benefit is real wealth creation over a period of time. You will get higher return when you invest for the longer period. But please mind it. There is no guarantee. If somebody gives you guarantee, then he is not telling you the truth. But historically speaking, Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am. Most of the equity funds have given return between fifteen to eighteen percent during last ten years, which is phenomenal return. As compared to six or seven percent bank interest on FD, if the return is fifteen to eighteen percent, it is very good. And earlier, which I actually remember, if you remember, there was no tax liability on equity return, but uh, but uh, but now there is a liability of tax return. Rules are there. Yes, please come forward and answer. Any other questions, sir? Yes. Any any other questions, sir? Participants, you can feel free and ask questions. Yes. What what are drawbacks of mutual funds? Yes, very right. Very good question. Yes, my dear. In mutual fund is also an investment product like other products. That is why in mutual fund risk is there. And if you don't understand the scheme, uh, understand the scheme in which you are investing properly and invest, then there is a risk of losing money. So before investing, and I, I want to tell you one more thing to all of you. Please note down on one website if you want to interested to know about the mutual fund investment. Please note down the name of the Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. You also write it down in the in the chat box. Mutual fund sahi hai. This is the name of the website. म्यूचुअल फंड सही है इज इज वन वर्ड ओनली म्यूचुअल फंड सही है दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द वेबसाइट डेवलप बाय एम फी वेर एवरी इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द म्यूचुअल फंड इज अवेलेबल तो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू काइंडली विजिट द वेबसाइट अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड under mutual fund understand the concept of categories of mutual funds understand the risk in mutual funds understand the time duration in mutual funds understand the different categories of mutual fund everything historical data is also available so please devote some time next one or two months you start studying as much as you can and once you get comfortability once you are comfortable only then you start investing don't be in hurry it is your money If you you get profit, it will be yours only. If you lose money, it will be your loss only. Yes, some mutual funds are traded on the, or on on, on exchange generals. Yes, yes, these are called exchange traded funds. By name itself, ETF, exchange traded funds. Any other questions?
Okay, sir. Sir, shall we move on to the feedback, sir? Sabjad, you just give, just share the feedback link here. No, no, Our participants okay. or students uh, can give your feedback on the session. Our students will give feedback about uh, the session, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So, sir, I am very thankful to Principal Ma'am for giving me opportunity to be with all of you. Okay, I sir. think I think uh, uh, the session you might have found relatively useful and yes, beneficial. Definitely. And yes, sir, this yes, is the, sir. and ma'am, this is just the beginning. It is not okay. the end. We will definitely be in touch and we'll keep doing more session on different on related topics as well, where we mm -hmm. I will be able to explain in more details about mm -hmm. the different okay. aspects of security market, mutual fund, uh, banks, NBFCs, all these things, uh, uh, NPS, NPS also I can talk on NPS okay. as well. New pension scheme. So, a lot of things we, we can continue this uh, relationship and mm -hmm. I will be happy to continue it. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you for an excellent session, sir. You have made it a lively session. Really, it was an interactive session also, sir. So thank you thank so you. much. Any student what is up. willing to give the feedback? Go to order. Feedback. Thanks. Okay. So vote of thanks. Nandini, vote of now thanks. I request Sampurna of third year to propose a vote of thanks. Sampurna, are you here, ma? Sampurna? Nandini, is Sampurna there in the meeting, ma? Uh, ma'am, uh, Sampurna, ma'am, please, uh, on your video so we can create you as a co-host because your name is not uh, found in list, ma'am, please. She's not there, sir? Uh, no, ma'am. Sampurna is not there. Ma'am, participant can't uh, unmute their mic, ma'am. Uh, on, please, uh, on your video uh, so we can create ask her to on her video ma is she able to sampurna yes please on your uh, video so that's ah uh, okay no no uh, carry on uh, carry on Uh, ask her to give the vote of thanks, Ma. Ma'am, shall I start, Ma'am? Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Today, I feel honored and privileged to extend my word of thanks on this national webinar on finance and economy for society role of financial empowerment of citizens. I would like to thank our esteemed principal ma'am, Dr. V. Raji Sukma. We are truly inspired by your leadership and management qualities. i like to thank our respected HOD sir, Dr. V. K. Somasundram for his present and valuable guidance for this webinar. i like to thank Dr. R. Srinivasan sir, the Associate Professor of our department, and also the co-convenor of the National Webinar on Finance and Economy for Society. Role of Financial Empowerment and Citizen. Sir has arranged for an excellent webinar. I would also like to thank uh, Dr. Rajalakshmi, Vijayalakshmi ma'am for her effortful webinar connection. Sir, my special thanks to our resource person, Mr. Suryakant Sharma sir, for your informa informative and wonderful presentation. I would like to thank all the faculty members from my department and all the other departments for your presence and patience listening. My word of thanks will not be complete unless I thank my own students, my friends, from my department and all the other departments. I hope we continue to work like this and organize such events in the future for the betterment and upliftment of our students. I would like to end this word of thanks with a phrase, a good event never ends in the world. They take only a pass and keep us waiting for the next. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hey, very good. Very good. All the best.
Well done. Yes. Well done. God bless. Thank you very much again. Thank you, sir. Food. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.